Hey, this is Jerry with the Happy Place Diaries, and in this video, we're talking about what it takes to get started in Dutch oven cooking or cast iron cooking. So stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the Happy Place Diaries. Hey, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about cast iron cooking. A lot of you are enjoying uh, this cast iron series. Uh, because it does enhance and make or help you uh, get the very most out of your RV experience. So what we're going to talk about today is some of the things that I recommend uh, when getting started with Dutch oven or cast iron cooking and you really don't have to uh, break the bank for this. Um, again, watch uh, the video on us restoring cast iron. Uh, we'll put that up uh, up here and um, so you could go to uh, you know an old antique store and buy an old pe rusty piece of cast iron for really cheap restore it and you're in the game or you could go out and purchase some brand new stuff and that's great too um, I'm going to show you just a little bit of stuff and what we use for it and I also want to give you a couple options on, on lid lifters so stay tuned okay so when we load up our cast iron uh, in the RV to take it out uh, on our trip I keep everything in this box that I'm sitting on uh, throw some Dutch ovens you know the cookware stuff uh, but essentially it's really easy you need a Dutch oven you need a way of getting charcoal started I've got an old grease rag here uh, an old and these these chimneys work really well and you need some way of lifting up the lid in previous videos you've watched me using a glove and that's great too other ways are your lid lifters and you can pick these up wherever you purchase uh, Dutch ovens uh, Dutch ovens come in all different shapes and sizes uh, both of these Dutch ovens are 12 inch ovens Okay, so what I have here are two six-quart, 12-inch ovens. Uh, they're both made by Lodge. Uh, this one was a collector lid from Lodge for the Corps of Discovery for Lewis and Clark that I picked up along the way. One thing that you'll notice on my ovens, because I used to compete, um, I have little tags on all of my Dutch ovens. Where's the one on this one? Right here. And they basically just have a a JS on them. That way I know it's mine. All right, let's talk about lifting the lids. Okay, so again, there's different options for lifting the lids and, and you really have to have uh, some sort of tool to lift the lids whether that's going to be a heat glove or a lid lifter, you really need something because you're putting coals on these and it is extremely, extremely hot. Uh, I like using the gloves, um, but I also uh, use lid lifters. Real simple to use. You just pop them on and then lift the lid. Uh, one of my other lid lifters that I have and again you can spend a lot or you can spend a little I think I, I paid about 25 bucks for this lid lifter and again it's got my little tag on it uh, you know you got a bunch of Dutch oven tables out and people cook in and things get shared uh, sometimes but here's a real simple lid lifter that I think you could pick up for about five bucks I'll put links uh, in the comments below uh, for these different lid lifters but this one's real simple you just lock it in there and then lift it up real simple I think you could get real fancy with your lid lifters and you could get a lid lifter like like this one this one collapses and it folds up nice in my bin um, this one's unique in that it does multiple functions other than just lifting a lid and I'll show you what that does so that locks your lid in 
and you can keep the coals all on the lid, move that, do what you need to do. The other thing that you can do is after you're done cooking and your lid is full of coals, you can set that aside with the coals on it, put your oven on top, and that will allow your oven to stay warm. Or you can load up your lid with coals and actually do some cooking. Let's say you're making a stew. Um, you can get the heat source uh, under there and use that. So this little this little stand uh, by Camp Made um, has nice multiple uses. The other way you can do it is you can actually. Put your lid down, and then that little hook can be used to lift lift your pot and move it from one place to the other. So this little this little gadget is exactly what it is. It's a gadget, um, but it's really neat. It folds up and it fits in in your box, or you can actually put this inside of a 12 inch oven it's inside there right now so it makes it uh, easy to lift and maneuver and all that so some of the other things that you really should consider having is like these Dutch oven tables that are behind me uh, they're really nice uh, they you can put your coals on there you don't have to bend over um, makes makes your cook surface really nice and neat uh, and they have the wind deflectors on them so they also will provide uh, that wind protection keeping your coals uh, working uh, these bags are really good to have um, I have a bag for every one of my ovens um, they're padded on the inside and they just keep things organized uh, keeps your Dutch ovens nice and clean uh, when they're in transit and they have carrying handles so it makes it really easy to carry your your ovens. I also have a table trivet and basically that is just to put on on a table so you can put your Dutch oven on there and that way you don't um, burn the table keeps everything off. The other nice purpose to this is if you have a Dutch oven that does not have legs you could go ahead and put this right in your coals and put that bean pot type of Dutch oven right on that. And then you just add legs uh, to the bottom of your oven. Inside the box, um, I use wooden, wooden utensils. I use wooden spoons, wooden spatulas uh, on, my, on my Dutch oven stuff. And then this is called a trivet. And Basically what you do is you put that in the bottom of your Dutch oven. When you're adding a little bit of liquid and you don't want whatever you're cooking on there. So let's say you're doing corn and you don't want the corn um, on that. You could set your corn right on there. Add a little bit of water. There's little um, there's little dents on, on the bottom here and it keeps it off the bottom of the off the bottom of the Dutch oven and allows you to elevate your cooking surface within the oven. So I keep that and then a couple little uh, towels are always handy. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, getting started with Dutch ovens is a real simple thing. If you have an oven and a way to do coals, oh and coals, I keep my coals, I, I keep all my coal in this bucket, it makes it easier to transport and um, and it keeps your coal nice and dry. So, uh, yeah, my, my bag of charcoal fits nice in this bucket. And then we're good to go. So getting started with Dutch ovens, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. And it definitely doesn't have to be expensive. Uh, get yourself a Dutch oven. Get yourself a lid lifter. Uh, maybe a glove, a bag of charcoal. And anything that you could cook in your kitchen, you could cook in the Dutch oven. If you're going to bake it, you could you could bake it in the oven. If you're going to boil it, you could boil it in the oven. You know, whatever you want to do, uh, you can do it 
using cast iron and I really enjoy it. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to give us that thumbs up and share it with a friend. We really, really appreciate that. And um, yeah, sharing is about what you can do. Hey, don't forget to uh, check the description uh, below. Uh, we'll have links to all this stuff in the description and ways that you can go ahead and click and buy it. And hey, if you're inclined and you want to support uh, veteran charities and uh, Special Olympics, uh, we've got a couple ways that you could do that with us. Also, it's all in the description below. Uh, won't beg for it, but it's there if you would like to use it. All right, with that, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for coming along.